Hello everyone, I'm Archangel. I'm making this video because some people are making the argument that Tom Willett, future man, is innocent because the witness lied according to himself. <laughs> of course. Also, he recently uploaded a new video, so here we are. Uh, some people are just trolling, in my opinion, or defending him, just defending him, you know, because... I don't know, but I think there are some who generally think he's innocent. But anyways, I'm going to first give the short answer and then add some extra details and thoughts I didn't include in my first video. In my first video, I couldn't piece together this part because I thought there could have been another case. And I went back to Tom's Joe House Adventure video and there's the part where he says... About 1977, I uh, became involved with the court system once again. I became involved with the court system once again. <laughs> My goodness. In this document, the one, the one that I always show, he wants to appeal his conviction based on the testimony of one of his victims. Not because he wasn't trustworthy or because he was a liar or anything like that, but because it was, as it says here, it is a rule of a criminal evidence that on the trial of a person accused of crime, proof of a distinct independent offense is inadmissible. So let's repeat it. Proof of a distinct independent offense is inadmissible. There you go. <laughs> there was another case, probably, most likely. Then it says exceptions to that rule, etc. The thing is that, as, as I think we know, he doesn't get the appeal because there are exceptions and because the crimes are similar. This appeal was filed because he was looking for the conviction to be changed. Of course, the three life sentences, you know. We have no idea of how the other possible trials or crimes went, but... He said it, and it's also here on record, thankfully. I personally think that Willett said all these things about the witness because this was most likely the best testimony in this trial. He also lied about the age of the victim and didn't mention what was the trial about. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say what the trial was about, and he was saying, oh, the witness, the witness lied. But what was the lie? What was the lie? He, he doesn't say anything. There's a lot we don't know about this man. Like when he mentions this Lady K as one of the people who help him, sounds almost, almost like a mysterious character from a TV series. Who's this woman? Is she still alive? We'll never know. Now, this is extra stuff people found about this man. I didn't include it in my last video because I didn't want it to be too long. Tom Willen has had many nicknames and professional names. A singer, he was Herman Schmerdley, something like that. As actor, he is Tom Willen, but Thomas is his real first name. On the internet, he calls himself in different ways on his beta blog, how I call it. He calls himself in a third person as nerdy. Don't visit this blog, but here he shares the name Young Hope as an email address and shares his name on the bottom, Tom Willett. Yeah, you may not believe it, but this guy, this guy is so self-centered. He can't avoid putting his name on things. But anyways, now this Young Hope is also on the discussion page on Wikipedia about his case, etc. Here it says, Young Hope, who identifies himself as Tom Willett, uploaded four pictures to Wikipedia last year. To Wikimedia. Sorry, different things. And then we have Young Hope on IMDb. He states that he's feature man on YouTube. On his profile, he has many reviews about movies, of course. This part is a little sensible, you can skip it using the timestamps. In this particular review, he mentions that he likes the scene where a minor is forced into adult activities by an adult male. Let's just put it that way. And I want to thank the people who took their time to go through these reviews and other blog entries because, wow, there's a lot, okay, to go through 
and find the stuff. Now, this part is just like things that I think personally about the video. I don't know, some things that were kind of strange for me. I noticed that in, in this video, Jailhouse, Adventure, whatever, is that whenever we would want more information or context, he just changes the subject like when he's talking about Lady K and what she was doing to help him. He suddenly changes the subject as if it doesn't matter. In other occasions, he uses, but like, uh, you know, like, oh, it, it doesn't matter, something like that, and moves on. I mean, I think that's obvious, you know, because he doesn't... <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the, now, the background of the video, I really don't know how the format is on of his video but it was kind of a strange for me that there was food on the background especially centered because if you see he's on the side of the screen and the the food is on the middle and i think it's kind of like a distraction there's also peanut butter and above this a phone you may not see it that way, but for me, I, I don't know, because I just look at everything and I don't know, it's kind of a strange. About the phone, he was explaining the part, this is not exactly the background, but he was explaining the part of the witness and he suddenly gets a call. I think that was a purpose, as a signal to cut it. Yes, I think there was another person there. I went back to the video and I noticed something that I didn't before for some reason and it's that you can hear the sound of pages turning, his arms are not moving or in any way and I knew he wasn't alone but I suppose that because of the call. If you pay attention, you can hear it throughout the video. I'll insert some clips here. And it seems there's some people uh, at prison. There's a... What a coincidence that he gets a call just when he's talking about the witness and what was said on trial. What coincidence, right? Anyways, and after after the call, he summarizes everything, you know, for some reason, right? And doesn't explain what he was about to explain before. I hope this is my last video about this man. I think, I think YouTube should demonetize his channel, at the very least. Just before all this was discovered, he was planning a meetup. And he planned a meetup before, but no one showed up. He wasn't as famous as he is, was now. Crazy stuff. Guys, take care and see you in another video.